Hey guys, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. And I know you've heard me talk about China's new social media scoring system before, and it's absolutely crazy. Um, basically, you get a reputation score within China that raises or lowers depending on what you do. And if your social media score ends up lowering, you can't do things like get plane tickets or loans or other stuff. It is China's way to put social pressure on those people. Now they have people within, uh, you know, groups of or communities that are supposed to be watching, judging this kind of stuff to help with this social media score. But China has actually just taken it to the next level. Now, the way China has typically been working is they've been looking at various aspects of how they can implement social media or more advanced social media reputation monitoring, and then they roll it out to specific provinces and stuff to see how it works. In this case, we're going to be talking about a province called Hebei, and basically what they have done is rolled out an app that shows you within 500 meters people that are in debt. And the goal of this is the Chinese government wants you to put pressure on people in debt, uh, especially if they seem like they are capable of paying debt. In other words, let's say you're in a shopping mall and you see somebody that's buying a whole bunch of stuff and they look perfectly happy, and then your app alerts you that they're in debt. I think they're, 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 the impetus here is for you to tell them, hey, wait a second, you're in debt. Look at my app here. You shouldn't be buying that. Be a good citizen of China or whatever that is. Now, there are no specifications if the app is going to show you names and pictures just yet or what exactly constitutes debt. I mean, if you have a mortgage and a car payment but no other debt, are you fine? Is that considered debt? Or are we talking about people racking up massive credit card bills on shopping sprees? No idea. But this is the next thing rolling out. And imagine just being able to like sit in your neighborhood on an app and figure out all of your neighbor's that have debt. That's kind of weird and it's a little bit terrifying. And I hope that uh, China at some point steps back and looks at this as they continue to ratchet up the authoritarian monitoring on their citizens. But that's absolutely crazy. So take it for what it's worth. Uh, what do you think about this? I personally am not a fan, but you let me know if you are. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.